You've got a tune to KEXP, where the music matters. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle and online streaming around the world at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I'm so excited to have Senya Rubinos live on the Midday Show. Welcome. Thank you. You and your band look great, and warm-up sounded wonderful, and I can't wait to hear the new songs live. Take it away. in the KEXP studios with Senya Rubinos playing tonight at Barboza and a fabulous new album called Black Terry Cat out on Anti Records. 
What do you got next for us? We're going to play a song called Black Stars. Senya Rubino, it's live on KEXP. What incredible live performers you all are. Thank you so much for coming in today. That was wonderful. Thank you. And the new album, Black Terry Cat. And you traverse a number of musical styles. You, I hear hip hop, there's jazz, so many other styles in there. And you seem influenced by a lot of genres and cultures and you fuse them all together. And it makes me curious what kind of music was playing at home when you were growing up. I was really into Mariah Carey. Um, my dad really liked to listen to classical music as well. Um, and, uh, my parents liked to dance salsa. Um, so I, I guess that's, those are like three representative sounds that I grew up with. 
that's pretty diverse. Yeah. I heard that you, or I read that you knew that you wanted to do music of some sort ever since you were a young child. And I'm wondering how that feeling gen- germinated in you at a young age. I don't really, I don't know. I think I just liked imagining things to music. Um, I think there was a moment I remember my dad trying to get me to listen to classical music or opera and I just didn't think it made any sense. I thought it was kind of funny and I didn't understand what what I had to do to to like it or how to listen to it. And so he just told me to um, imagine a story to it. Like, because I was like, there's no words. What, how can I get in there? And he's like, oh, you just make up your own story. Um, But I, I just always remember playing with music and my parents were really... Um, encouraging, but that's just, I've never wanted to do anything else. Well, with such a powerful and soulful voice, I'm not surprised that the music without words confused you at first. And I'm curious how your music education began, because I know you've had some formal training and you went to Berklee School of Music as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I I moved to Boston to uh, be a jazz singer. And then I got there and I realized it wasn't such a great idea for me. I didn't feel like I fit in. Um, And I quit singing for a while, actually. And Um, I started getting more into composition and uh, kind of listening to a lot of instrumental music. And it took me a couple years to get back to writing songs um, and get back to singing. Uh, So I I learned how to write for um, big bands and six horn arrangements. And I started my first band where I would mostly just compose instrumental music. And uh, my drummer, Marco, who's playing today, played in that first band. Um, And yeah, that's kind of how I started learning how to write music. You have a great band with you here today, Nick and Jack, and you mentioned Marco and that you two went to school together in Boston and then you reconnected in New York. Tell me how this project got started because you had a fabulous first album and I hear elements of that in this new record, but it seems like you've gone in a different direction and I'm curious how you challenged yourself, the two of you, on this record. Uh, Yeah, um, this record... um well, I, th- this project started with that first record, Magic Tricks. Um, and that kind of kind of came out of me being in an emergency emotional zone, ne- and like desperately needing to play my music. And I got over myself about playing keyboards in front of people, and I, I didn't dare to do that before um, that moment. But then once I started doing that, it just kind of accelerated the pace of being able to play my own music and perform. So um, that first record was was uh, kind of came out of that piano trio sound. And on this record, we kind of wanted to um, expand on the sound palette. And um, I started playing bass. I wrote a lot of this record on bass. Um, and I think sonically, uh, it's a little bit expanded, although it's still minimal compared to other things. But um, yeah, I think we, we expanded on the sounds and it's, and it's a little bit more... Um, influenced by uh, hip hop, which I was listening to a lot at the time when I was writing this record and rediscovering old funk records, listening to bands like Rufus or Sly and the Family Stone. Um, And yeah, getting down on the bass. So I think it's a a really bass centric uh, record. It's, it's very exciting uh, musically, and I'm curious about the lyrics because you've not shied away from political and social issues on this record. Almost every song hits on something really meaningful you can dig in there, and I'm wondering if that's something that you sunk your teeth into more specifically on this record. Yeah, I felt that on my first record, Magic Tricks, I was using words more as textures and not really thinking as much about their literal meaning, and uh, I felt that... Uh, lyric writing was a weakness of mine and that I was shying away from it or hiding from it. So I wanted to challenge myself to confront that fear of uh, specificity and being literal. And so um, I tasked myself with uh, just writing lyrics first, which had never happened. Um, But uh, I I tried and succeeded in writing lyrics first for a couple songs, including uh, Mexican Chef which you have coming up next. And this is a wonderful song. Senya Rubino is live in the KEXP studios tonight. She'll be playing at Barboza. I highly recommend seeing this group live. And here they are now, live on KEXP. Chinese take down Mexican chef. 
up a new oh, a miracle bunch of that in the back It's a French bistro, Kevin can shut up They turn their wrists around, body crush up Chinese take down, Mexican shut up a new oh, a miracle bunch of that in the back Brown walks your baby, brown walks your dog Brown raise the miracle plates of the song Brown cleans your house, brown takes the trash Brown even wipes your granddaddies Brown sews the buttons back on your shirt Brown picks the fruit, brown painting in the dirt Brown drives your bus Senor Ruby Notes live on KEXP, a new album, Black Terry Cat, out on Anti Records. Tonight they're playing at Barboza, and time for just one more song live on KEXP. With the golden fist I won't play But to keep you open Hide a little sliver Of this feeling in the midst I won't play But to keep you open Make me wet you're not I don't want to be Don't point at me Wait, 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 wait,
What a treat. Senor Rubino's live on KEXP playing tonight at Barboza. Black Terry Cat is the new album. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. All of you. That sounded fantastic. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle.